Welcome to your Daily Dose of Sunday School, episode 138. We're looking at the seventh commandment, you shall not commit adultery. And we're on question 71 of the Westminster Shorter Catechism, what is required in the seventh commandment? The seventh commandment requires the preservation of our own and our neighbor's chastity in heart, speech, and behavior. So we know what it means not to commit adultery. We, if you're married, you do not um, betray that covenant by acting in a sec- sexual nature towards uh, s- someone who is not your wife or if you're a woman, you're towards your husband who is not your husband. So the... Um, the, but like all the commandments, it's intended to go down into our heart, and we are intended to show that that value that's placed on marriage by the commandment, um, that value that's placed on purity by the commandment, spreads out into every situation where it could possibly apply. Um, so. When we see that betraying the marriage covenant is evil, then we begin to see, and the rest of Scripture helps us with this, that there is a proper outlet of sexual desires, and that is something provided by God in marriage. And everything else needs to be um, set aside and resisted, and in fact, uh, as Paul says in 2 Timothy 2.22, this is one of our proof texts today, fleed from, so flee youthful passions and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. So, it doesn't just say run away from sexual purity and then... Now you got eight hours to do with the day. How are you going to do? Uh, you, you, you got all this spare time. What are you? How are you going to stay away from that sexual immorality? You fleed, but now you're like, ah, oh, hope I can keep fleeing for eight more hours. Well, it doesn't just tell us to flee, and then we're left bored. It says to um, pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace along with those who call on the Lord from a pure heart. So that involves community. It involves pursuing God's righteousness, his kingdom. So you need to be actively pursuing things. You've got your education. You've got training. You've got Bible study, righteousness. You've got church. You've got all sorts of things that you need to Pursue so that um, you stay away from the, you, uh, well, you stay away from uh, youthful passions. You stay away from uh, lust, and there's probably other youthful passions than that, but I think that's the main idea here. And... The idea is not that you are like just resisting your nature and you're going to just try to, I don't know, what's the word? Until there's, as if it is a, um, what, a, a universally bad thing or something. No, what you're trying to do is preserve those passions for marriage. And you're really, it's like, it's like money. You're, you're setting it in the bank, and then it's really going to strengthen that marriage later on. It's going to increase that passion later on uh, for this person. It's going to allow that, that relationship to be uh, healthier, stronger. Um, sex is marriage super glue it's what's intended to be if you'll let it be that um, then it is it is powerful and so you're saving up your passions for a person that God will provide 
and that you are going to seek to be faithful to. It's very important and one of the most important things you'll do in your life. So we want to be like Christ. Luke 2.49 um, what he said to his parents after they lost him in Jerusalem, why were you looking for me? Did you not know that I must be in my father's house? He was a young man, um, and he knew he needed to be about his father's business. So uh, let's pursue those things that God has given us to pursue. Maybe get a little bit more, um, what's the word, uh, ambitious about some of the things we want to do for God, for our lives, for our education, really all of it for God, but you know, some, some things might be hobbies, some things might be educational. Uh, pursue those things that he's given you to pursue. Love for your family that are right in front of you that you need to um, you know, build relationships with them. Pursue all those things that God has given you, and it's going to make it a lot easier to flee youthful passions because then you have something to flee Two, you flee youthful passions, and now you're helping dad clean the gutters, which is smelly. But, uh, you know, it's a lot easier to fight lust up there than alone in your room. All right. We'll talk about this some more tomorrow.